COVID-19 is a global pandemic with over 100 million confirmed cases and over 3 million deaths. It has led to school closures for over a year now and has caused many small businesses to shut down. On a more personal level, I lost my grandpa to COVID. COVID-19 is airborne. It spreads through the air. Ventilation with air purifiers and natural wind reduce infection risk by separating airstreams that might contain the virus. Previous research has shown CO2 levels to be a good proxy for ventilation. Therefore, we decided to make an app using measured CO2 levels to inform the user and provide guidance for improving ventilation. CO2 Sensei helps businesses reopen safely by allowing them to monitor ventilation. A study held in Taiwan on a tuberculosis outbreak shows that ventilation is extremely important and that carbon dioxide can be used as a good proxy. After improving ventilation and air circulation in the classrooms from 3,000 parts per million to 600, the engineers noticed that the outbreak had stopped and the increase in ventilation was responsible for 97% of the decrease in transmission. Both tuberculosis and COVID-19 are transmitted through the air. We emailed three different experts on ventilation. These very, very small particles that we call aerosols that stay suspended in the air follow very easily the air streams. And this is how ventilation helps remove them from the air. Before creating the app, we decided to research other similar apps on the market. We found major deficiencies in benefits to help small businesses. That's why we decided to create our app, CO2 Sensei. We created an architectural diagram to show how our app works. At the start of our technovation journey, we decided to create a carbon dioxide sensor using Arduino to see the relationship between ventilation and carbon dioxide. After a car ride experiment, we noticed when there was poor ventilation, the carbon dioxide levels increased dramatically. We then set out to create our app, CO2 Sensei. CO2 Sensei helps improve ventilation to reduce the spread of COVID or other diseases transmitted through the air. Our app displays the carbon dioxide levels of the building or your household on the home page. Then, based on how high the levels are, the text of the CO2 levels will change. For example, if the levels are dangerously high, the text of the levels will be red, but if they're perfectly fine, then it will be green. We also give instructions on how to improve ventilation both through the app and our website. After creating our app, we noticed that a lot of people didn't know much about ventilation and COVID-19, so we decided to create our own website. In the website, we included lots of detailed information and resources on the topic, as well as some instructions on how to use the app. The team went through multiple times of refining the app and adding new features. Because I think it's going to provide people a very easy and objective way of seeing if there's uh, air is being circulated in, in their space. As you can see, based on the competitor analysis chart, we have many more features and benefits over our competitors. Our plan is to first test run the app in the Bay Area and then slowly expand all across the country to help businesses reopen safely. While the app is already usable, we plan to make it even better. We plan to research more about how having proper ventilation is a good practice. Another idea is allowing users to see other people's carbon dioxide levels near them using Google Maps. We also plan to have SMS notifications when carbon dioxide levels go high. And based on some feedback from Dr. Rule, we plan to adjust the color-coded levels based on location.